Today in math, we are going to talk about the inch. The inch is a standard unit of length. The inch is a unit of length. Right here, I have a picture of the ruler that you cut out of the back of your math journal. You did this before break. You cut out a ruler from the back of your math journal. It should look just like mine. This is a ruler. Ruler. Remember, a ruler is a math tool. We use a ruler to measure. It is a math tool. We use it to measure. The ruler is one foot long. It's one foot long. One foot. Or we can also say it's one foot or twelve inches. One foot or twelve inches. Let's take out the or. Put it in equal sign. One foot equals twelve inches. One foot is the same as saying twelve inches. There are twelve inches on this ruler. This is a one foot ruler or a twelve inch ruler. We can use it to measure things that are smaller than one foot. You could use it to measure your pencil or an eraser, a glue stick, a piece of candy, things that are smaller than one foot. Let's take a close look at this. There are numbers from zero to 12. The spaces between the numbers are the same size. From here to here, from the zero to the one, the one to the two. Let me make that zero to the one and the one to the two, the two to the three, the three to the four, the four to the five. Right, they're all going to be the same size. Some of the lines on the ruler are longer than others. So the line where the one is is longer than this line right here. So the smaller line, which I'll make that in red, the smaller line means it's half. This line right here where that's red, it's halfway between the one and the two. So it's one and a half inches. And right here, between the two and the three, it's between the two and the three, it's two and a half inches. And each longer line means it shows you where the each inch is. The halfway mark helps us measure to the nearest inch. I have drawn a square blue block. The square blue block is between the zero and the one on the 12 inch ruler. So how long is the side of the pattern block? It is one inch. We can write that one inch. We can also say one and then I N period. One inch. From the zero to the one, that's one inch. I have also placed a square blue block between the five and the six. I have done this to show you that the ruler is made up of equally spaced same size units. That means from each one of these 
the zero to the one, the one to the two, to two to the three, three to four, four to five, five to six, and so on. They're always the same size and same space. So from the five to the six inches, this should show you that this square blue block is still only one inch long. It's no different than this square blue block from the zero to the one or from the five to the six. Each of these spaces is one inch. Each of the spaces is one inch. One inch, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. So what is the distance between zero and one on the ruler? One inch. What is the distance between eight and nine on the ruler? One inch. Take another look at the ruler. How many spaces are there in all on the ruler? There are 12 spaces. How many inches are there on the ruler? There are 12 inches. Now, I want you to count the inch spaces between six and nine on the ruler. What is the distance between six and nine? How many inches? Let's see. From six to seven, that's one inch. Seven to eight, that's another, and then eight to nine, that's another. There are one, two, three inches from six to nine. Because each of these is an equally spaced one inch. One, two, three. Just another way to show you that each of those spaces means one inch. Not everything that you measure will be exactly one inch long, or exactly two inches long, or exactly three inches long. But sometimes something will be very close. Something will be about three inches long. Or something will be about four inches long. It'll be very close to the nearest inch, but it might not be on it. So sometimes in measuring, we, we might say it is about two inches long or about three inches long. You will notice that in your math journal today. You will be measuring three items in your math journal with your ruler. You will be measuring them in inches.